Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's a glorious Monday. It's pretty overcast. I think it's supposed to storm all week. What else is new, right? We'll find out when it's storming. Today, I got some good news, and this is why I like B&H. Now, I love B&H. I wish I could live there. I told you before, when I was bitching and complaining about stuff not showing up and not having any communication from the company, but I did say that B&H got kudos because they at least had it listed on their website as not available. It was a pre-order. I'm talking about that Sony ECM B10 microphone. But it said that it was a pre-order and that it wouldn't ship until at least August. Then, when you go to the site, it actually shows. Shipping starting 8.15. I shit you not. Today, being 8.15, I woke up to an email from B&H saying, your item has shipped, you'll have it Wednesday. Was that so damn difficult? All you other companies take heed. Take notice at the happy monkey who was communicated with throughout the process of pre-ordering an item and being told all the way along what was going on. I can't complain with that. That's why I buy stuff from B&H. Thank you, B&H. This is not a sponsored B&H video, but again, thank you B&H, you're tops. All right, other than that, it's a quarter to 12. I have a call in 15 minutes, and then I have to try to dig some motivation out of my ass because I do not want to do any day job work at all. It has just been painful for me to sit there and think about what I need to do, and I don't wanna, but I'm gonna have to. So we're gonna see what happens there. Other than that, it's going to be a pretty low-key day. I know that I ordered a remote control for my Verizon Fios stuff that was supposed to be delivered last Thursday. I knew it wasn't going to be delivered because it didn't even show that it had shipped, but it was showing that it was supposed to be there on Thursday. It's just kept getting pushed back further and further. Again, at least they told me that it was getting pushed back, but whatever. It's a remote control. I can live without it. It's supposed to be delivered today. Now, unfortunately, because I wasn't able to change the shipping address other than my actual home address, which I hate doing, I don't want stuff delivered here. That's why I have a UPS store box. Because it requires a signature, I'm going to have to sit here and... That sounded like them right there. Anyways, it requires a signature, so I'm going to have to be here to sign for this stupid remote because I couldn't have it changed to be delivered at the UPS store. So it's a good thing that as it's getting pushed back and back and back, it's still on a day that I'm here. But you know, I mean, it sucks because what happens if I decide I want to go to the UPS store? What happens if I decide I want to go get Bean? What happens if I just want to get the hell out of here and go somewhere, but I can't because I'm having something delivered? Gah! Should be getting remote control today. That's pretty much it for this morning. I got up, I made breakfast. I've been sitting here kind of doing, you know, some day job stuff and kind of not. It's really that I'm pent up and I want to get the hell out of here, but I've had to sit here all morning waiting for UPS and waiting for this call. So what can I do? All right. I don't know what else I'm going to be able to do today. Don't know if it's going to pour. We'll see. I'm going to go downstairs and get a cold brew so that I can tolerate this call. And then we're going to go about our day. Okay. Let's get some cold brew and sit through this horrible meeting. <laughs> okay, kids. Want to hear some funny stuff? I went downstairs prior to my call to take down my breakfast dish and I looked out the front door, glass door, and what did I see but a package laying on the ground. I go out, it's the remote. So apparently sometime after I opened the door, but before I came downstairs to get ready for my call, the UPS guy came and chucked the freaking package down on the ground and didn't get a signature. See why I don't have shit delivered to my house? So I sat around all morning waiting for something that I ordered that I needed a signature on that I didn't need a signature on that would have just been chucked and laying there anyways. Okay, that's one. Number two, I'm trying to get teams to start up so that I can get on my call. Whilst doing that, my compatriot texts me and says, why am I the only one on this call? And I'm like, mm, no, that doesn't bode well. So I finally get teams to work and I plop on and there's three of us on the call. And that one guy says, oh yeah, it's a day of rest. But I thought that, that you know, uh, I saw somebody get on the call and thought maybe we were having it anyways. So I nor my buddy were aware of this being a day of rest. Now I went through an email that my former boss sent me that listed all of our days of rest and our holidays 
and it wasn't listed. The last day of rest was July 6th or 5th, and the next official day off is Labor Day. So I had checked that, and because I, I got an email from my new boss that sounded weird, and it made me question if we had today off, and I was convinced that we did not. Bottom line, I sat around in my place all morning this morning, and I didn't need to. Yay! Okay, but I got a remote, it works just fine, and I have a day of rest. Granted, I have shit that I gotta do anyways, but technically, I guess I don't have to feel bad that I'm not gonna do jack shit. So I am now going to take a plant to the woman at the Pearl that basically made the other Pearl give me my lenses as a replacement for free. And I've been trying to get over there and give her a plant. And the last time I went, they were freaking closed on a Thursday. So, okay, so I'm gonna go take her a plant. I'm gonna go back to Michael's. The wife wants me to look for something. Plus I wanna get a vine that you will see on the after this portion of the video uh, where I'm going to hang it behind me so that Doink has a vine to hang on instead of just being hung from a piece of twine. That will be part of the studio setup because you know, monkey, vine, get it? <laughs> okay, and then I have to go grocery shopping. The least favorite of what I need to do today other than day job stuff, but that goes without saying. So we're heading out now and we're gonna go do some shopping. Okay, kids, it's been an eventful afternoon. Like I said in the little clip before this, I went to Michael's to get some supplies. Now, I decided to hang Doink here, but I only had him hanging from like a piece of twine that's hooked into his carabiner. And I thought, yeah, that doesn't really look quite right. It looks like there's just a monkey floating in the middle of the wall. Why don't I get him a vine? Eh? Eh? So now Doink is hanging out with me whilst I'm in the studio filming. And I kind of dig it. Plus, it's good for Doink to have something to play with. Okay, the next thing I did was my wife asked me to see if there were these cups that had some stuff written in it, Halloween stuff. We love Halloween, and we love going to Michael's and buying an inordinate amount of Halloween stuff. I went there, they didn't have it, and she had said that uh, she got these, and I'll just show you, she got these little skulls that are glow in the dark. She said that they had smaller ones too, she probably should have gotten them. So of course I got them for her, but I had an idea because she put hers in like a champagne type glass, a Halloween type glass, whatever. And I thought, you know what? It'd be cool if I could put those in some kind of like clear, almost vase-like thing, but, but put some LED lights on the inside of it. You know, they are glow in the dark, see what happens. So I went and bought this and it was on clearance, the, the little like glass vase type thing. And then I also got some of the skulls that were the same size as what she got, but they also had a bag of bones. So I put two tea lights in here, one at the bottom, and then I surrounded it with skulls and, and bones. And then I put another one towards the top and I'll just keep that on and see how long those stupid lights last and see if it does what I think it's gonna do when the lights go out and, and make them all glowy. Probably not, but whatever. We totally dig Halloween, and obviously I have a thing for skulls, so those are all over the place too. Last time we were there, I also bought a bag of skulls, and these were approximately the same size as the skulls that I was buying and collecting and putting on the shelves that were behind me, and now they're over there. So I took a couple of these and I put them over there, but these, I guess the idea is that these are kind of do-it-yourself skulls, and it was right next to a bunch of paints so that you could paint them up and decorate them how you wanted to. I'm perfectly fine with the white skull though, and also the paint wasn't priced. So I didn't know how much it was, and I didn't want to get up there and be like, it's special paint, it's a hundred bucks a tube. I'm not gonna do that. This is how I spend my time when I'm avoiding day job work. So that's pretty much what I've done this afternoon. Also, I went grocery shopping, much to my chagrin, but I got in and got out and, and now there's groceries. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today. You know, what more can I show you? What a fun-filled, you know, adventure-packed day. You know, I got up, I sat around with my thumb up my butt all morning waiting for a remote that ended up being dumped in front of the front door without getting a signature. And I also waited for a call that I didn't have. Yeah. Okay, and now, oh yeah, now it's raining. So the morning when I could have been out having some photo fun, I didn't, and now that I can, it's pouring. <laughs>
All right, typical Monday in the life of the monkey. That's it. I think I'm just going to stop right now. It's, it's been a, a fun-filled day, actually. I, it wasn't as horrible as I make it out to be. It was a lot of fun, and I love going and, and, and buying skulls and shit like that and decorating and everything. And I got Doink up the way that I had envisioned him, and yeah, all is well. So that's going to be it for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.